Cal State Fullerton's The Report. With news, views, and info to go, I'm Christina Rasband. And I'm Sarah Fenton. And on today's show, we'll be discussing the student art exhibit and the recent earthquake lecture on the seismology of California. In addition, we'll inform you about the Fall Food Drive event and the Speech Rights Board, which had gained a tremendous outcome from the student body this month. Lastly, we'll also go into depth about Nickelodeon's new seven-part lecture series and the organizational effort to raise donations and packages for soldiers abroad. This month, artwork from students will be displayed in the Titan Student Union for CSUF's annual art exhibit. The exhibit will be funded by ASI, allowing for cash prizes to be awarded to the participating students. These prizes range from $100 to $250. The artwork displayed will include canvas paintings, jewelry, and pottery among other works in the three-part gallery. The exhibit is open to participation by students of all majors and all types of artwork will be accepted. The exhibit will end on November 1st. Susan Huff, a seismologist of the U.S. Geology Survey, visited Cal State Fullerton recently to give a lecture on seismic activity in California. According to Huff, an earthquake in California is likely to happen, though it cannot be predicted when. A large part of her lecture was devoted to an earthquake referred to as the Big One, a great earthquake that is apparently overdue in California. Huff used the 1906 earthquake in San Francisco, which claimed 3,000 lives, as an example in her lecture of what kind of damage quakes can cause. Huff stated that since then, earthquakes have resulted in fewer deaths in the U.S. due to stricter construction codes. A fall food drive is being hosted at the Irvine campus by ASI. The food drive will run through November 15th. Until then, canned goods are being collected all throughout campus. The Student Affairs Office, along with several red bins around campus, are spots where non-perishable food can be donated. We'll be right back after this short break. Don't go away. CSUF's Young Americans for Liberty organization placed a free speech board in the middle of the quad on campus in order to motivate students to take advantage of the First Amendment rights. The board is meant to inspire people to write whatever they're passionate about and to bring up controversial topics they feel they need to be addressed. Within two hours, the board was filled with words, creating an awareness of a wide range of different issues. CSUF students can take part in a new influential event that will help give them the insight they need to succeed in their future career. Recently, the Nickelodeon Network visited campus to host a seven-part lecture series in which an animation production professional came and lectured on the various aspects of animation. Butch Hartman, the creator of The Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, was the first in the series to come visit the school. For the first lecture, Hartman answered numerous questions and shared his experiences in the industry with the students. This month, the Student Veterans Association, Veteran Student Services, and President Scholars Program have teamed up to collect donation at CSUF to help military personnel currently serving in Afghanistan. At the moment, students can go to either McCarthy Hall 130 or University Hall 230 to make a donation or give items that these three organizations are requesting. Donations will also be accepted at Titan Walk this month on the 9th, 16th, and 23rd from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The ultimate goal is to receive enough donations so that 75 packages can be sent to the troops and arrive during the holidays. As well as these donations, the items being requested by the groups are not easily accessible to these men and women and will hopefully play an active role in improving their experience overseas. That's great that they're helping out the troops. It'll definitely brighten up the holiday season. Yes. Well, that concludes this week's episode of The Report. 
I'm Christina Rasband. And I'm Sarah Fenton. Have a great week.